Yeah, good afternoon YouTube. So this is my latest little project here. I was inspired by Neuralnar24 and he uses a board with a bunch of light sockets that he can screw in various light bulbs as an AC load. And I thought that was kind of a nice idea. I wanted to make something a little more flexible. In, in his system, he just screws the bulbs in and out to change the load. And what I did was I put some little rotary switches here. So I have a switch per socket. And what I did to mount all those, I took a, this is about an inch and a quarter board that I found. And so I machined some slots in here for the switches, you can see there. And then I cut some holes in here to run the wires to the sockets. And then I have all my wiring into a uh, little Wago three terminal connector blocks. And so that's gonna go in there. And then here's the last uh, bulb socket I have to put in. And then at the top, I'm gonna put an electrical box here. So in here, the reason I added the box, number one, I can make all my connections up inside the box. And then I added this switch here. It's a double pole, double throw switch. So what I can do is take and feed the bulb sockets off of the center terminal of this switch. And then in one position, it'll take just the incoming power. So I'll have a power cord coming in here and that'll be hooked to one side of the switch. And the other side of the switch can be hooked to whatever I install in this box. So if I want to put a light dimmer in here, I can install a light dimmer and then run that through the other side of the switch. So I could dim all of these light bulbs, use like Z-Wave in-wall dimmers or just regular light dimmers. And that way I can also test light dimmers with this. And then I'll be able to also measure the power consumption with the light dimmer and then one or more light bulbs. And then if I want to bypass the dimmer, I can just flip the switch over here and go directly to the bulbs. And then I have the individual control. I can turn on a 50 watt bulb, 100 watt, 100 watt, 100 watt. And that way I could do 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. So I can add various loads. And then I can also do things like uh, test LED bulbs, which for instance, might not dim with one bulb, but maybe if you have three or four bulbs in the circuit to get a sufficient uh, minimum load, I can test that. This way, when you test devices that go inside of a wall, it's very hard to test those because they're you know, inside the wall. The wires are all hidden. You can't put a clamp on ammeter on them. You can't plug a kilowatt meter in. So that's why I wanted to put this box here to kind of make it accessible. And then I can uh, safely test those, install them in the box, wire them up, and uh, then test them with various lights. I have a little bit of work to finish this up. I've got to screw down the box, get my last socket in there, and then I got to do all the wiring inside the box here. I'll show you what this looks like when I get finished.